Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Andrea Lauren, and I wanted to come on here just to do a video about how waist trainers have helped me so much with two C-sections. I mean, I'm not sure who are, who are all C-section mamas, but I am a C-section mama of two beautiful girls. And after my first daughter, I really, I still had a little bit of belly and I tried working out. I tried everything I can do. I know I can have surgery. I can still have surgery if I choose to do so, but it's just something that I don't really want to do. I want to work this off. To be honest, I feel like I can do it because I know if I go through, sur through surgery, I know that there's going to be downtime and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with surgery. Whoever has to do it, kudos to you. I kind of wish I was you, but I'm not. So I do what I have to do. And I feel like we should do this as women. It's not for everybody, but it was definitely for me because I do not want to walk around with a fupa. And if I do walk around with a fupa, it's going to be a fupa that looks snatched. Okay. Okay. I had to come back because my daughter was just, she came in here running and asking for things. So she got some popcorn and she got some juice. Anyway, on to the video. I have been waist training. Waist training, waist training, waist training, because my body was not snatched after I had my children, especially not after a C-section. And I do watch a lot of videos on how you get snatched after a C-section and how you can do this and do that and eat right. And I, I do all those things. I, I do just about all those things. I'm not going to lie. My husband says all I eat is leaves. That's not true, but I do. I, I enjoy a good salad and I eat healthy, try to as much as possible, and I'm trying to get even better. But not only that, when you have children, your stomach expands. And then when you have a C-section, they cut you, you know, and then all of that is just still there. And I started with a little tummy. You know, so it was just, it's not cute. And I'm not walking around like that. One day, you know, I, I don't have a problem with that. And anybody who wants the rocket, that's fine. But if you are here because you want to feel snatched, you want to be snatched, and you're busy, like a mom, work, whatever you have going on, try this because it's like training your waist now just to tell you that i have had results i'm going to show you what i look like without the waist trainer i'm going to show you the two sizes the one that i started with the one i started with the one that was like half point and the one that i'm in now and i'm going to show all of those to you so keep in mind that my daughter is she turned two in November of last year. It's now what January. So she's about, I don't like when people do this. She's two, she's 24 months, 25, 26, 27. She's about 27 months right now. November, December, January, 26 months. Okay. So she's two. And I looked last night because I, for, I wanted to shoot this video and I wanted to have all this information and I'll link all of the waist trainers, I get them off Amazon on in the description so you guys can check them out and see if you like them. Just see what it looks like. There's no harm. And you can always ship something back so it's Amazon. You can ship it back. So I started with this. I gave birth to her. I had my cesarean section November 10th, 2020. And I ordered my first waist trainer, I believe it was February 15th. 2022 i'm sorry 2021 because i had her in 2020 i ordered my first waist trainer february so i ordered my first waist trainer february 2021 from that point i'm not even gonna lie there's no body shame in here okay i was like she did way more damage than me to me than my first child did first off the girl was almost eight pounds both of my daughters were, my first daughter was seven pounds. She was like almost eight pounds. And she was, I'm not a very tall woman. I'm like five, five on a good day. So 
she was like 15, 16 inches long. And on me that she was like up here, like up here and all the way down there. So let's get into the video. I'm going to show you guys what I look like with no waist trainer on. This has been, let's just say on average two years, let's just say two years, two years of waist training. My waist started off at a 44 inch. That was about, hmm. Let's just, I don't, I don't want to do the math in my head because I'm, I'm on camera. November 10th to February 20. Okay, so November 10th to February 15th. You know, that's like two, three months. So I was about two, three months. I got checked off from my doctor. I got cleared to work out and everything. And while I was working out, because I don't want to discount Grow With Joe, how I work out with her, how I have been working out with her for over two years, how I eat right, and I put some of my salads on my channel, and I'm gonna be put, putting more things on my channel because I'm at a point, a season in my life where I want to be healthy. I wanna eat healthy, everything I do, I want it to be something that's gonna be nutritious to my body. So this is another aspect of what I'm doing for me. And I'm making sure that I do it safely, I don't wear it every day, but I am training my waist. I carry two humans. And I had them in a four year period. And I wasn't in my 20s when I had them. Help. Okay. So let's um, get to what I look like without anything. Okay. So I have just one t shirt and some jeans. This is me without nothing. As you can see, Tommy, we've been working her out. Mommy. This is me without nothing at all. Mommy. Yes. Mommy. This is me without nothing at all, guys, okay? Nothing at all. A little bit of tum, but, you know, or maybe a lot of tum, but, you know, two kids, this is what I look like without any, nothing at all. And I'm back. Okay, so that was my body just without nothing. I took out my pants a little bit because this is a waist training video so you need to see what my waist looks like so this was my first waist trainer that I started off with as you can see it's entirely too big too big guess what size this is guys 3xl this is a 3xl like literally I can pull it's way too big it's not training nothing nothing that's a 3xl and it almost kind of brings tears to my eyes i know you lose weight after a baby anyway but this makes me feel so much better because you can see results when i ordered this february 2021 two months after i had my daughter i could barely fit into this barely barely fit into this all right so this one right here is the 2XL. This one was the 3XL. 3XL. That's the one I just took off. This is over a two year period. Post two years postpartum or 27, 28, 27 months postpartum. This one is still too big because when you could have that gap, it's supposed to be the tightest of the tightest. It's supposed to be clenching and bringing your waist in. Now, if I wanted to wear this, let's just say, I can rock it, but I already know that I can get something better. You know why? Because look at that, there's that gap right there. Like clearly you can see it. That I need a smaller size. It's okay, like it brings me in. It's giving what it's supposed to give. It also, brings that in back there, you know? Let's give them what it's supposed to give, you know? But I can do better. And you know, because it starts to get bigger. I feel like you start to lose weight up here first, and then you start to lose weight everywhere else. So, okay, just wanted to make sure I was filming. <laughs> Wasn't sure because my daughter keeps <laughs> running in here. Clearly, this is a 2XL. So, 
So the one I had on first is a 3XL. This is a 2XL. 2XL. I have room. It's too big. There was a gap. It's not pulling me in. It's pulling me in, but it's not giving what it's supposed to give. Okay? So let me show you the one that I'm in now. So we went from a 3XL to a 2XL. Get ready for what I'm in now. Y'all ready for this? You ready for this? You ready for this? You ready for this? <laughs> okay. This right here is the one. I've been in this one for a while. But I did not like the company. It was a steel bone. So this one is a waist trainer. And you see, let me get close. Snatching. No room. I am on the first latch. So I have this latch to go and I have this latch to go. This waist trainer is a 28 to 28, 27, 26 inch waist. So right now I'm in a 27, 28 inch, 28 inch. I went from 44 inches to 28 inches in two years. Waist training, working out, water, hustling like crazy as a mom. You know how that is. We're busy, busy, busy. This is where I'm at right now. So, as you can see, I'm snatched. I don't have any type of room in here. I can pull her up. She was difficult to put on, and that's another thing. You want it to be difficult to put on. So, I'm going to button up my pants so you guys can see. Am I completely flat? No. But to me, this looks snatched. You know? I'm still losing back fat. As you can see, I always had broad shoulders. But I think this is pretty good. Right here, you can't see it like there's no gapping. You might be able to tell I have something on. You might be able to tell that I don't have anything on. You might just say, she looks snatched. There's the bum, you know? It brings your whole butt in. Makes it appear, aha, uh -huh. makes it appear bigger. You know, she always wants to get in my video. Say hi. Okay, she's not saying hi today. Hi. Say hi. <laughs> okay. So, this right here, mind you, she was almost eight pounds. Eight pounds, 16 inches long on me. On a good day, I'm 5'5. Five yeah. five. I'm probably really only like 5'3 and a half, 5'4. And this is what it's given. I think this is pretty good. I feel better. I feel way more snatched i feel way more confident I, I feel together also when you have a baby or a c-section you kind of you want everything to be sucked in you want to feel gripped and held in you want to feel good it feels good down here it's giving wow it's giving wow you know let me know if you guys want to try this out let me get let me know <laughs> what you guys think about this. I absolutely love it. I will link the waist trainer that I got in the description. It has almost 92,000 people bought, 92,000 people bought this. So I think it's not uncomfortable. Let me also add, when I was coming from these waist trainers, they have like, especially this one right here that I just came out of. It just hurt my back. There was like a steel, like a steel bone, like right back here. But on this one, there's not anything. You've got something right there, but it's not poking me in the back. Like it's not poking me in the back. So yeah, so this is what I, sorry, my hair was itchy. This is what I have been using. Just to help me along, bring my waist back in, 
after having two children in the course of four years that I absolutely love and adore, super cute little babies, this is what has been helping me. I hope you guys like this video. This is what's been helping me. So that concludes this video, guys. I hope you like and appreciate this video. There's probably so many more out there, but I had to get out what I was doing just to show you guys that you can achieve this type of snatchness. And it's a little bit uncomfortable at first, I'm not gonna lie. But if I was to remove all of this fat, that's what my body naturally would look like. Probably even better if I got surgery, but I'm not doing surgery, not at least right now. So it brought me in. It gave me that hourglass look that I absolutely love because I'm already curvy. I have a 47 inch waist. I mean, no, 47 inch hip, not waist, <laughs> not waist. I have a 47 inch hip, okay? And on average, this is just on average, without the waist trainer, my waist is about a 30, well, actually it's about a 33, 34. 33, 34, without anything. And I have been waist training so much and working out, I still do have a lot of loose skin. Not a lot, but you know, when you have two children, your skin expands and it comes back and it's trying to come back and I'm trying to help it come back. So there's loose skin there because I gave birth to two children. Anyway, I'm going to end this video here. I hope you guys, and you see, you know, that's my big kahuna that I get on, my um, treadmill. I hope you guys like this video. Please remember to like this video, uh, subscribe to my channel, and again, remember to keep and continue loving yourself over and over and over again, and I will keep seeing you guys. I'm going to keep putting out content for you guys because I really enjoy doing this. It makes me happy. So I'm going to keep doing this. Remember to keep loving yourself no matter what nobody says. Love yourself. Fall in love with yourself over and over and over again because you are simply amazing. I'll see you guys in the next one.